this video i'm going to talk about delay analysis claims management forensic schedule analysis specific technique to which we call as planned versus as built so stay there till the end of today's video because i'm going to talk about the complete strategy how as a planning engineer you are working in the field but if you come across any kind of delay event at the end of the project how are you gonna deal with it before getting into the detail of today's video, I just want to make sure that you have already subscribed this channel so that in future, if I'm going to make any video, you get that link on time. So let's start and talk about as planned versus as built. As of now, you can just understand from the name, it is very obvious. We are talking about as planned versus as built, right? There are two documents. So it's going to give you a lot of comfort zone. To understand this strategy so i'm going to share with you these slides one by one when we talk about you know as planned versus as built it means this involves overlaying the original construction schedule with actual progress records because as planned is going to represent baseline or whatever you have scheduled already and as built means what has been done on site area and delays are identified like uh, over the period of time you know you got a plan you try to execute that plan but you know nobody knows there are some unforeseeable circumstances there may be a rainy season floods political instability maybe there are many reasons out there so you are going to analyze so what was the potential threat risk or delay event which has delayed your project from a contractual duration time period right so this approach helps determine whether delays were like caused by the contractor you know there are multiple parties which are doing that project uh, authority like client consultant and contractor design authority okay so we have to find it out who caused that you know delay like on the contractor side maybe it was from client side or any unforeseeable circumstances are force major. So when we talk about as planned versus as built, the second most important agenda, how we need to analysis the works. So step one, first of all, gather the approved baseline because again, I'm going to repeat it. It means as planned versus as built. So the first thing you need to talk about is baseline. Your approved baseline should be there, right? and uh, with all relevant progress up that is the second document you know the second part of this line is second document baseline is separately you required and the second one is updated project schedule i'll be sharing let me share with you this is your primary p6 this is your baseline right and in the specific situation you are working as a planning engineer construction manager project manager our delay analysis expert and you need all of these things so right there in the comment section area delay analysis with primavera p65 and my team is going to approach you and they will manage it to hand over to you people right these files and all that so right now we are just scrolling across the baseline but if i can open the same file and here we are let me share with you people and now here we have another file which I have just opened within Primera P6. This is your baseline with updated progress. Blue bars and there are thin yellow bars are showing baseline. Blue bars are showing their execution pattern, right? This is as built. So that is the first thing. The second thing, you know, the develop the as built schedule using site records and uh, you have to update. This is our site record. Okay, daily document. Uh, monitoring like uh, how this complete uh, activities have been started this is your plant this is your as per site uh, delay cause like how this was delayed from its plan like there was IEFC comments resubmission vendor data package gaps logistics technical uh, deviation approval site obstruction compactor breakdown moisture adjustment see these are the delay causes then this is the variance how many days this certain activity has been delayed like 10 days this purchase order issue is detracted from its original plan by 10 days so further you can see there is categorization who was the responsible party like if i talk about this one like excusable i have 
you know detailed about this excusable non excusable compensable non compensable concurrent in my full training in which i am going to deliver you delay analysis and claims management if you are going to enroll in that training i make sure that you people got get access to my career with vikas platform and before getting into this enrollment of this session you can talk to me you can take and seek for a best advice for your career like so uh, learning delay analysis and claims management is very uh, much recommended because right now there are 100 projects are going on in case so 90 projects are going to delay anyhow due to the reasons we are going to document over here so it's very important if you are experienced guy if you are working for a long time in construction in maintenance it's very important to understand such kind of skills and all that right so such kind of document is very important to manage and to uh you know document and according to this document you are going to build up your progress and you are going to update your primera p6 file and the step 3 compare each activities plan dates with a actual date to identify variance and slippage that's what we have already done within this document this is called variance and the formula is there even though we can also talk about this variance within our see this column j is showing our variance right so even if i share with you primavera p6 and i can get into view layout i can open my specific layout here we are and uh, i will share with you in within primavera p6 how it will look like see these are the columns we can show up to share the variance and all that see and uh, that is what i have explained in my full training as well how to do these things but as of now i'm just giving you the overview how to do these things in professional way and the fourth important step is determine how these variances affected the critical path and the final project completion date right so it is going to help you over here that like what was the activity originally placed on critical path method and how it has impacted on your uh, final completion date right if you can see over here so there is 17th of may 2024 this is our 8 may 2024 and this is being delayed by these many days right so that is going to help you how my project was shifted so furthermore if i talk about specifically about this methodology to which we call uh, as planned as built there are certain features it is gross oriented technique it is static logic technique it is observational and moreover it is retrospective so these are very important terminologies you need to understand so first of all we talk about retrospective retrospective means to look behind to look back like to talk about the past whatever has been done okay so it uses historical data past data not future simulations so retrospective is this kind of technique will be implemented when majority of project progress is done and we are going to gather evidences and uh, on ground data on the basis of past right so that is why we call it retrospective technique the second is, this is observational you don't not insert delays into the schedule like if i, I if i share with you primavera p6 dashboard i did not add any external activity into this one and i re strategize there are many techniques in which we are going to do that one as well but it is only observational because we are going to make comparison between baseline and you know as built data so that is our observational uh, you know uh, model so static logic the baseline logic the original logic remain the same we are not going to disturb that original baseline logic that remain same so if we are not going to disturb our original baseline logic it means that is static logic that is why we call it static and why we call it gross because ultimately we are not going to because there is another methodology to which we call windows analysis Uh, up there there is a link you can click that one and you can watch my video on windows analysis and moreover this is the initial format of windows analysis in which we are going to go by lump sum like baseline and as built and go with the comparison that is why we call it gross because overall effect we are going to calculate because in windows analysis we will make the equivalent windows like one month one week 10 days 15 days and we are going to update them and see that what is this window is going to impact but here in this as planned versus as built it is gross oriented methodology right as a whole project comparison
So I hope you got this video and before signing off this video, I would like you people to write in the comment section area so that I make more about our construction management, project management, primary P6 and delay analysis and claims management. Don't forget to ask about these templates. These are really valuable uh, templates as you people, uh, as an audience valuable for me. Thank you very much. See you in my next video.